the man of the moment with Jim Courier. Well, Roger, Andy Roddick came into this tournament with a lot of confidence. He'd played beautifully. He'd taken you out in an exhibition in Kuyong. He beat some great players en route to the semifinals, but you completely dismantled him out here tonight. And I have just one question. Well, I have a lot of questions, but the first one is, why'd you do it? Well, you know, I'm just happy I won, but uh, I mean, that was a, I mean, seriously, now a tough match, and I was really, you know, worried really going into this match, of course, because he's playing, been playing so well, and he was so close to beating me, especially in Shanghai and at the U.S. Open, and Kuyong, he played well as well, so I knew it was going to be tough, and I always see, you know, 50 aces going past me, but today that was just not the case. I, I really picked him up well, I played incredibly well, and I don't know what to say, it's just unreal. <laughs> it truly was. Remarkable performance. And so many of us feel like Andy Roddick has made such a big step in his game, and you've said that as well publicly. He's improved a lot uh, in the last six months. Did you get up extra for this match because you saw him coming for you? Absolutely, and uh, that's why I didn't read the papers today. I didn't switch on the TV. <laughs> And I just try to focus on, you know, my game. And uh, like I said yesterday in the, or two days ago in the press conference, it's going to be about day form. I just had one of these days where just everything worked and uh, it kind of was unbeatable. But, uh, you know, Andy's going to get his chances, that's for sure. So I'm just happy I got this one tonight. Well, try and explain to, to us here, what does it feel like when everything is going right? I mean, do, does the ball seem like it's enormous? Does it seem like it's coming slower than usual? We use the word in the zone. How does it feel, if you can describe it? <laughs> look, it's just unreal. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm shocked myself. I don't know what to say. <laughs> the tournament's not even over yet, you know? <laughs> but, uh, so let's not get carried away. Let me try to do it one more time, and then let's get all, all excited. We'll do that. Well, this tournament is very much still in play, but you've, t you've tied a record that's been long-standing today, and I know you take a look at history. 1934, Jack Crawford made seven consecutive major championship finals. You tied that record today. How's that feel? Very nice. Yeah. I mean, to, you know, winning matches, that's the, the best thing, to break records, that's something you never dream of, so, um, by winning, you know, my match before, you know, against Robredo, I think I made a record also, consecutive semi-finals and Grand Slams, and this time, I tied a record, I mean, it's just uh, fantastic, so I'm, I hope I can keep it up, look, I mean, uh, I'm playing so well at the moment, so, might as well take them along the way, right? You've earned every one of them, no question. How about your opponents? You're going to be playing either Tommy Haas or Fernando Gonzalez. Both of them seem to be playing their best tennis. Your thoughts on that match tomorrow night? Well, I mean, I guess a bit of a surprise, you know, that the number two and three seed didn't come through in that one. So, I mean, that's a, um, a real big occasion for both guys. You know, if, um, Tommy's been here in the semifinals, uh, you know, a few times, and uh, he's beaten me here before. And uh, uh, he's, he's a great player, so is Fernando. He's been improving a lot. So, I mean, I think exciting match for tomorrow night. I don't want to take a pick because it's really too even. Fair enough. How about your parents? Your parents arrived, they've been touring Australia, they're enjoying the country, and they just came to watch you here in the second week. I guess they planned well. Their, their flight's scheduled to leave on Monday, is that correct? And now you've, you've worked it out for them, they're actually going to get to see you play all, all the, the finish line. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's great. I mean, they were a bit boring today, you know, they were just sitting in the hotel room watching TV and maybe, you know, went, walked over to the courts, that's all they did today, so... Why didn't you take them sightseeing? It's too nervous. <laughs> no, but uh, that's great, they're here once again and uh, I'm happy that uh, I could win a few matches as well, so it's great. Well, it's great to see you in such fine form. Roger Federer, you may not see something like this again. Take a close look.